Another very interesting area is the Chinese um, traditional companies are actually very weak incumbents that are really pushover uh, for startups. There's no competition for startups. So take as an advantage in the U.S., uh, Disney, Marvel. Uh, there's no way a, a startup can really compete with them. If you're, or, or if you're, a, you're someone who's come up with the next Ant-Man, right, and, and you want to go publish that on your own, you've got no choice because these traditional brands are so big, you've got to go basically beg them and, and let them give you the terms to let them publish your Ant-Man through their traditional network and brand. Um, but there is no Disney or Marvel um, in China. So, in fact, in China, uh, we invested in a company called Youyaoqi. <laughs> I see we have uh, some fans in the, in the audience. <laughs> and then there's, you know, A-Zhan, B-Zhan, and a lot of... Uh, <laughs> which we, we almost invested in. There's uh, Baozong Manhua, which we invested in. Okay, I don't know if I should be proud. That's the first uh, clap <laughs> of my talk. But we're quite proud of the company, Baozong Manhua. They do a, a great job. So these are emerging new brands that are quickly grabbing spaces because there's no Disney and Marvel. So if someday one of these companies will become the Disney slash Marvel of, of China. So now if you've got, so seriously, if you really have the Ant-Man equivalent for China, um, you know, you, you see a lot of um, um, new IP being created and very rapidly monetized in China because there's no Marvel and Disney standing in the way. So if you're actually a, a great comic uh, writer, uh, you could test your idea by using, let's say, your Yaoqi, see if people like it, by just drawing some uh, comics. People like it, you create your IP, then you find partners who will build an online game, a movie, um, and uh, TV series, animated series, and you make all your money in three years. There's no uh, Marvel, Marvel Entertainment standing in the way. Uh, so imagine, as another example, if you wrote uh, uh, the Harry Potter equivalent, right? It took uh, decades before that got published and then became a movie. Now it could just take months before you figure out it's worth money. You're basically using the internet as a way to test if you're clever, uh, creations are good enough. If they are, then you can iterate and li license your IP for movies and online games. For example, one of our investments was we found this uh, amazing husband and wife team on the Yuyaoqi platform. Um, they created many great uh, content, such as uh, Da Shishun. <laughs> and then they, um, they, are moving, they moved off to create another wonderful creation called uh, Shi Wan Ge Leng Xiao Hua. So we said, uh, can we fund you? And they said, what? We're just a content studio. We said, no, no, no. You want to streamline your process, you know, and then get it out in the online comics, in the movies, and so on, and we can help you. And they let us invest in them, and, and sure enough, each of their creations became much more monetizable. Every new creation became monetizable in one, two, or three years, not 15 or 10 years. So that's all thanks to not having some giant who is there standing in the way. Uh, other big uh, names, you know, uh, uh, Random House, Home Depot, are some other examples in the U.S. that are really big, Costco. It's really hard for you to displace them because they're traditional companies that are somewhat internet savvy. But in China, all the traditional com almost all the traditional companies are very weak. Uh, in some spaces, there's no big brand. Uh, like in the barber shop space we mentioned earlier, in the U.S. there's Supercuts, right? Maybe not the most amazing company, but somewhat of a brand. But in China, there's no supercut standing in the way. So if you're an internet entrepreneur, there are, the incumbents are quite, quite weak. And if you're into auto services in the US, there's Jiffy Loop. In China, there's nothing like it. So the fact that there's lack of traditional brands, or if there are any traditional brands, some of them are, 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 rather, are trying to take massive profit and not delivering to the end user a transparent model. So here you can use the internet to disintermediate them. So here are some examples in the real estate network and in, 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 in many other areas where, where that's creating unique opportunities. 